Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can push your Visual Studio project into Azure DevOps. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to load or launch my uh, Visual Studio and I'm going to create a brand new project. And I'm going to just going to use the uh, Windows form as a project here and just going to leave it to whatever directory that they are recommending. And then I'm going to leave the .NET 6.0 as a LTS. But if you have your existing project, you can use launch your existing project and use that as well. I'm going to park this on the right hand side of the screen. On the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to open a web browser and go to my Azure Drive app. So I'm going to create a brand new repository. If you have your existing repository, yes, you can use your existing repository. But for now, I'm going to show you ground up on how you create a brand new repository and then upload the Visual Studio 2020 projects into your Azure DevOps. So I'm going to give this a name called, say, a unique name called testing2468 as a repository name. I'm going to leave that readme.md file as to be created. And for the IDE, I'm going to select Visual Studio. And I'm going to click on create. What that does is that it goes ahead and creates a new repository called testing2468. Then now I'm going to go to my Visual Studio 2022. Looks like it's already done creating the project and you're going to click on Solution Explorer. So if your Solution Explorer is not available in this tab here, the way to make it visible, you go to View and click on Solution Explorer. So on your Solution Explorer, you want to click right click on Solution and select Create Git Repository from the context menu. What this does is that it opens up a pop-up window and then on this pop-up window, on the left hand side, you'll be clicking on Existing Remote. You need to find the UR, uh, remote URL now. Next, go to your Azure DevOps and select your repository. This is when, if you have an existing repository, make sure that repository is active now. And now click on clone. And then make sure you click on HTTPS because Visual Studio uses that. And then click on this to copy it into your clipboard. Now you go to your Visual Studio remote URL, right click here and you paste it, whatever HTTPS uh, URL that you copied from your Azure DevOps. Now, next thing to do is to push your project into Azure DevOps using create and push. A couple of output comes up here on your Visual Studio. Looks like it's completed. Now, let's refresh your Azure DevOps web page and then press F5 to refresh. And you can see your master branch has just been updated. Click on your master branch here and you can see the Visual Studio project files are all uploaded to your Azure DevOps. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.